Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I want to show you how to do these interesting half tone effects. There's like multiple ways you can do this stuff. This is one of the ways. If you want uh, like uh, to see other tutorials, you can click up uh, right in the right in the screen uh, and you can check the other videos also I did. And uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. I'm going to create a new artboard. Uh, right now I'm working with uh, pretty big artboards because uh, of this effect options so i'm gonna show you also the artboard size so you know what's going on right now i'm working with like 2488 pixels so yeah it's a pretty large large one uh <clears throat> anyways uh let's select let me go to default okay let's just uh select the, the ellipse tool usually the rectangle tool is on the top so select the ellipse tool uh, press shift plus alt and hold it and create your circle all right let's add a gradient on this stuff uh, you can find the gradient right here usually it's on this on the default option and you just click on this on a radial gradient and you can also switch here the you know reverse gradient but we want uh usually the, the default is like this or i don't even know which is the default but the main idea is you, sh you should click on this and switch to this when the dark side is, is in the center and you know it gets white in the rest okay we got the gradient go to effects pixelate and click color half tone as you can see, there's like a, a lot of numbers going on here. I'm gonna go with the maximum 125. Now I saw like on different tutorials, they're like adding different uh, channels here with numbers still, you know, click OK and they still get the black and white. Uh, in my case, I need to go on 0, 0, 0, 0 to get the black and white. So I'm remained with uh, this ratio here. And this way I have only one color. Okay, so I got the half tone. The thing is here, if I zoom in, this is pixelated. This is bitemap file. It's not a vector. That's the problem. So now we will trace this image. We need to go to object, expand appearance first, and then go to image trace. It's right here and click on it. Click OK. And now we made vectors out of this. Now click on expand. It's right here. Right click on group and click on this white stuff and just remove this. We don't need that. I also going to remove this uh, imperfections. What are they called? Um, yeah, but there's like you, you can try it out with different um, and different ratios different numbers and see what results you get okay this is one of those oh man i actually expanded this i wanted to create a like a new one with uh, the colors but anyways i gotta do a new artboard so i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about just like that and go back to effects pixelate color there you go so there uh, you, you can add, add like basically different uh, values i'm gonna add 120 100 i don't know 50. i know it was like something like these values and click ok and it's gonna make like uh raster points you know like really colorful raster points this is not raster but uh you know it, it it's pretty look like that with these colors so yeah anyway this is how you do it if you want to change the options of these you can go to the appearance if you don't have the appearance go to you know to windows and select appearance and here you can see the color half tone this effect you just click on that and you go back to the effects and you can decrease it i don't know let's if you decrease it, you're gonna add like more dots. I can actually click zero on these because I just want to go on black and white. You know, you just increase the dots and you're gonna get different results. So yeah, 
This is how you work with half tones, uh, one of the methods in Adobe Illustrator, and hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And have a great day. Bye bye.